Hey, so this is going to be a very quick tutorial video showing you how to play previous rundowns in GTFO. So let's just go ahead and get started. First off, you're going to need the files. Um, I'm going to have download links in the description that have all the files. I have them all right here. So once you have the files installed, uh, you don't need to install all of them, but you just install the ones you want. If you want to play R4, you just install R4. Um, but once you have the files, then you need to go to where you have uh, GTFO installed. So I have it on my C drive. If you have multiple drives where you store different Steam games, like I have different Steam games on here, uh, my D drive than I do on my C drive. But for no, for most people, you just have the one drive. So you're going to go to Program Files, x86, find Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and this will be where all your games are. Uh, I see I have a shit ton of versions of GTFO in here. Um, Literally, once you have the files installed, it's just you take the uh, the RAR file, or the zip file, or whatever it may be, and you drag it in here, right-click on it, and hit Extract here, and it will extract it to a folder. Um, GTFO from Steam will just launch whatever folder is just simply called GTFO. So if I want to play Rundown 4, I take my Rundown 4 folder, and I would just rename it to GTFO. And now if I try to launch the game through Steam, it launches Rundown 4. Uh, just to, to change back to a different Rundown, you just name it to something else you want. I just have a general naming scheme, just call it whatever Rundown it is, because it's just easiest to remember. And that's it. That's literally all it is. If you do not trust the uh, the files, which you shouldn't because it's the internet and it fucking sucks, but if you don't trust the files, you can get them directly from Steam, because Steam archives all game versions. So if you want to get it from Steam... You go to Steam Database. I'll have this Reddit guide linked uh, in the description as well to help you if you, if you need it. Uh, it goes over pretty much how to do this. And this works for every game, but just GTFO. So you go to Steam Database. You're going to find GTFO on here. You're going to copy the app ID for the game. Once you copy the app ID, you are going to go to Depots. Find Project Cell Content, which is just the main version for GTFO. You're going to copy the ID for that depot, which is right there. You're then going to click on it. You're going to go to Manifest, and this will be every single version of the game since its release. You're going to find the version of the game that you want. For this version, for this tutorial, we're going to be downloading the development version of Rundown 6 because they publicly released it on accident. So you would download whatever version it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, so you, if you want the dev version for R6, you'd get this one. Um, but once you have that, you need to hit can Windows R on your keyboard, and you need to enter into the, the, the run, the console here. Steam colon backslash backslash open console. Or is it forward slash? Whatever. Whatever it may be. Steam colon slash slash open slash console. And you hit enter, and you'll see here it will open the Steam development console. From there, you're going to hit down, you're going to put in this command here, which will also be in the description if you need it. Download depot, then it is the app ID, the uh, depot ID, and then the manifest ID. Uh, if you want to download a different version, you just change the, the last ID. So if I want like a run on four, if you want just the base version run on four without extension, you see, oh, it came out October 22nd, 2020. You just find that version. Look, there's a few of these right here. Copy that, download it, whichever version you want. From there, you would hit enter. Uh, it's not going to show a progress bar, but it is going to say downloading depot, and it's just going to run until it finishes. If you close Steam, it's going to cancel the download, so if you just make sure you don't do that. Uh, once it is finished downloading, it's going to show you, it's going to tell you where the file path is. I don't remember exactly where it says it goes, but it should say in the console um, where it outputs it to. And from there, you're just going to do the exact same thing. You're going to take it, you're going to move it to your common folder, and you're going to hit extract, and it's going to put it there. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I apologize if I went too fast, you just go rewatch whatever part. I just, I go really fast to these things. But I, that's that's literally it. You just get the file put it in the thing, extract it, change the name, and you can then play whatever version of GTFO you want. So yeah, I hope this is useful. Uh, you should definitely check out the development build. There's a lot of really interesting things in there. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys, uh, and hope you guys have fun. Uh, so yeah, once you actually install it and launch it, 
Oh, uh, it's gonna be very loud, I think. I apologize, but it'll, it'll just play whatever uh, rundown. Gotta lower that one and edit, but um, uh, it's going to reset your settings every time you change rundowns, so go in and change those back to whatever you want them to be. So I've run very low volume on this game. And as you can see in the bottom, it says development build because I've installed the, the dev build for R6. And uh, yeah, you have a command console. You can change weapons and shit whenever you want. It's a, I think it's a backslash. It's the slash that's under the backspace key for the console. F12 to open this thing. When you're in game, you can hit control F1 for free cam. Yeah. It's more of a, a I'm not really going to sit here and show you everything because I can't be bothered. But that's pretty much it. You you can do you can just play whatever level, mess around with the commands if you want. I don't know. There's some interesting things, something for you to mess around with if you care enough. But yeah, that's pretty much it.